Hi folks, feature inside QuickBooks Online called Edit Titles. And the purpose of this is to change the titles or headers of the major account categories in reports. For example, I'm gonna go click on reports and then click on where it says reports and then I'm gonna pull a regular standard profit and loss statement. I'm gonna go ahead and click on profit and loss and here where it says dates, I'm gonna select all dates so we get as much information in the report as possible. I click on run report and then as I scroll down, you notice that the major categories here are income, cost to goods sold, and then we have a subtotal for gross profit. Then we have expenses. Then we have, let's go down here to net operating income as a major title, then other income, other expenses, net other income, and then net income. I'm actually going to collapse each of these major categories just so we can see the major categories uh, by themselves. To click on that, I'll just uh, click on the little triangle to the left of each title and collapse each of the major categories. And then at the end, we're basically just gonna have the major categories. I'll zoom in a little bit here. So we have uh, income, cost of goods sold, gross profit, expenses, net operating income, other income, other expenses, net other income, and net income. So prior to early 2020 when this uh, feature was added, you had to export this into Excel and modify it in Excel in order to get different titles in a report. Now there's a feature up here that says edit titles. Um, as of the date that I'm recording this, it says new on it, maybe in a couple of months or a couple of years, it won't say new anymore. So we'll go ahead and click on edit title and then this uh, window pops up and says edit section title. So in, now in this screen, I can pick what I want to call each of these categories. So let's say instead of calling it income, I want to call it revenue. And instead of calling cost of goods sold, let's say I don't sell products, I sell services. So I, cost of goods sold doesn't make uh, much sense to me. I want to call this maybe cost of sales or direct cost, something like that. And then gross profit, I think that's good. I don't need to change that. And then under expenses, let me change this to, let's say operating expenses. And then we have net operating income. Let's leave that there. And then we have uh, other income. Let's change that to non-operating income. And let's do the same thing for other expenses and call this non-operating expenses. And by the way, uh, just because I'm doing this doesn't mean you have to do this as well. There's no rule that says that you have to change the titles. This is really uh, for you. This is for your own sake. Uh, this would make sense to you or not make sense to you. You would have to figure this out. And then let's call this non-operating net income. So not not operating net income would be the last category for other net income and then we'll leave uh, net income in there just for the heck of it. We're just gonna call this net, net, net. <laughs> so we know it's the net, 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 net of everything. So we'll go ahead and click on save and then click on got it. And then I'll click on run report again. And then this uh, setting will be permanent now. So if I were to collapse these categories, notice that they have different names now, right? So we have uh, revenue, cost to sales, gross profit, which we didn't change, operating expenses, net operating income, non-operating income, non-operating expenses, non-operating net income, and then net, net, net. Okay, so that's it. That's really all it is, right? You change the titles, and then if you want them back, you just click on edit titles again, select each one, and just click on delete, and tab, delete, tab, and then delete, tab. Notice the ones that are not grayed out are the ones that we changed. So we just come into each one, and then we delete tab, delete tab and that will put us back into where we're supposed to be. Click on save, click on got it and then click on report and then the report gets back uh, to normal. So this is just a personal preference. If you want the report titles to be changed, you can do that. You can also do that with the balance sheet. So I'm going to go back into reports here and then go into uh, balance sheet and uh, let's go down to we got assets. Uh, liabilities and equity. Some people like to change the word equity to net worth. So we're going to click on edit titles and then go down to equity and we'll call this uh, net worth, something like that. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, and then we'll click here where it says liabilities and 
net worth. So we'll just change the word equity to net worth just because we want it to. Then I'll click on save, got it. And then I'll click here on run report. And then let's just collapse the assets, liabilities and net worth, very clear. If I expand net worth, notice I have my liabilities. And then when I go down, I see my net worth under equity. This is gonna be, again, personal preferences, depending on the user of the reports, depending on the business owner, depending on the business type. I know some nonprofits like to change the title of these uh, reports as well. So there is your ability to do so. Anyway, I hope that was helpful and subscribe to the channel, leave comments below if I left anything out or if you'd like to see another video, let me know what kind of video you'd like to see. Thanks.